Hello, my esteemed viewers. In this video, I'm going to be finding the value of x given this equation, 4 is per x is equal to x. Now, I don't have any strange ideas. I cannot solve this algebraically. I will have to use the Lambert W function. But first, let me apply the natural logarithm to both sides. So ln will be used to represent natural logarithm. Let's do that here. So lean 4 is per x is equal to lean x. From one of the laws of logarithm, this x will be used to multiply the natural logarithm. So I'm going to have x lean 4 is equal to lean x. So what am I going to do next now? I am going to divide both sides by x. So here by x and here by x. x cancels x. So I have that lean 4 is equal to lean x over x. Let me just rewrite this as lean x over x is equal to lean 4. Look at this x here. It's now time to introduce you or to show you because you may have been exposed to the Lambert W function. For the Lambert W function represented with the letter W, if you have a e raised by a, if you apply the Lambert W function to this, it's going to be equal to what? a. Look at this a here as the coefficient of e and as the power. When you apply the Lambert W function, you are going to have a as a result of that. So we're going to try to find a way of representing this like this. Now, first of all, we don't even have e here. We only have natural logarithm, but that should not be a worry. I want us to rewrite x as dc. x can be rewritten as this. Do you agree with that? Yes, because lean and e, they are inverse functions, so they can cancel out, and if they do so, you have what? x, which is same as what we have here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now because I am trying at my possible best to make sure I bring in E into the equation so I can correctly apply the Lambert W function. So watch what's going to happen. I'm going to have lean X over what now? E lean X, like I explained not quite long, then lean 4. So let us rewrite this as lean X E raised power lean x but with before i do this let me just show you something else so lean x times one over e lean x of course if you multiply this you are going to get this back right so this is equal to what lean four now from the negative law of indices if you have a raised power negative x this can be rewritten as what one over a raised power x so you are basically taking the reciprocal of a raised power x because of the negative sign. So if I want to clear this fraction, I would have to rewrite this as lin x times e minus lin x. Notice, if you apply the law of indices here, it will give you back what? 1 over e lin x. So this is equal to what? Lin 4. Can you see now that we are almost getting that Lambert W function that has e in it? But we are almost close. We have a negative sign here. And from the Lambert W function, let me take you back there. See, A is here and A is here. So you must have identical values as the coefficient of E and as the exponent of E. So, but what do we have? It is minus lin x. But this is lin x. What do we do so that we can have minus lin x here? You guessed that right. I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative sign. So that will be minus lin x, then E raised to the power what? Negative lean x is equal to negative lean 4. We can now apply the Lambert W function. See, what I have here is minus lean x, and I also have what? Minus lean x. So let's bring in that cool function. So it's going to be W, that's the Lambert W function, minus lean x, E minus lean x is equal to what? Minus lean 4. So if you apply the Lambert W function from what I showed you earlier, you are just going to have what? Negative lean x. And this is equal to what? Oh, I have to apply it here as well. Pardon me. You know, if you apply it on one side, you must apply it on the other side. Minus lean 4. Okay, good. So minus lean x is equal to what? The Lambert W function of what? Minus lean 4. 
I don't want this negative sign here. What am I going to do? I'm going to multiply both sides by minus. If you do that, you just have lin x on this side and then minus w into bracket minus lin 4. What should I do next? See, this is lin x, but I need to get the value of x. What am I going to do? I am going to apply e to both sides. Remember I told you that lin and e are inverse function. So for us to remove this natural logarithm, I will have to apply e to both sides. So I will have e then lin x is equal to what e then root by what minus w in bracket minus lin 4. So lin cancels the e function and then you just have x which is equal to what e minus w bracket minus lin 4. Now I'm going to rewrite this as x is equal to c. That love in this, that negative love in this is again. I'm going to have one over e the number w function of what negative lean four. So if you work this out, x will be equal to what minus zero point zero eight eight seven plus one point five one two i. But this is a complex number, so we don't have any resolution. Rather, we have a complex solution for this equation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, kindly like and share with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I hope to see you in the next video. It's bye for now.